Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about books that are on my radar for release in 2022. I'm not calling this my most anticipated book releases because I know I probably won't read all of these, but these are books that I found that are releasing in the first three or so months of 2022 that I am intrigued about, I would likely pick up. This first book, The Raptures by Jan Carson, I saw Jen Campbell mention in one of her videos and it just sounded really interesting. It's about a mysterious pandemic illness that hits a small village and everyone is affected and is dying except for this one girl who doesn't seem to be affected so it does feel a bit apocalyptic dystopian kind of mysterious in that sense i think this is more geared to be a like literary fiction which isn't usually like my forte so i'm not entirely sure where this book will fall on release day the next one on the list is the caretakers by amanda bestor siegel this is an adult mystery thriller following six women who are au pairs in paris this one sounds very intriguing and suspenseful, multiple perspectives, a mystery or a death, maybe a murder occurs and it affects a family, and it's all set in Paris, so sounds very interesting. The other mystery thriller that made it onto this list is The Woman in the Library by Solari Gentil. This is a book about books. A crime occurs in the Boston Public Library and everyone is told to stay in one room and four strangers are seated at a table and conversations start and they try to figure out what's going on and I'm assuming one of them might be the murderer or the one who committed the crime. It sounds like a very fun whodunit mystery. The next seven books are all historical fiction. No one should be surprised. I wish a few nonfiction made it onto this list but I had a really hard time finding what nonfiction releases are coming out and the few that I did find didn't really sound appealing to me so I will be you know keeping my ear to the ground to see what nonfiction comes out. Historical fiction and mystery thrillers are the most easy books to find that are coming out. I'm not entirely sure why I don't know the behind the scenes of publishing but anyways historical fiction the first one on my list and I know that I will 100% read is I Must Betray You by Ruta Sepetys. She's a historical fiction young adult writer. I've read all of her books so far. Absolutely love them. She's definitely a favorite author. This one is set in Romania. A lot of her books try to light on a perspective during history that is really unknown to me and unknown to most. Her books feel very well researched and I'm very excited about this one. The next one is The Magnolia Palace by Fiona Davis. I mentioned her in one of the authors that I really hope to read in 2022. I own The Chelsea Girls on my shelves. Lines of Fifth Avenue, which came out I believe last year, is on my TBR. I know this one is also intriguing to me. It's set in New York City in 1919 following the Spanish flu epidemic, following a woman who lost her mother to the flu. And that's all I really need to know. It sounds very interesting. Okay, this next one I'm hesitant to put on this list, but I feel like I will read it because I really want to determine how I truly feel about this author. And that is Kate Quinn and her newest book being The Diamond Eye. I've been unsuccessful with two of her books, The Alice Network and The Rose Code, which came out last year. I did like them overall. They were three star reads, but they weren't really memorable or impacted me in any significant way. I do want to try her book, The Huntress. Curious about that one. And then this one, The Diamond Eye, is set in Kiev, which is in Ukraine, which I'm sure you already know. I'm obsessed with books that have to do with Russia and Ukraine because that is where my heritage and culture comes from. So I'll likely read this one, even though I'm hesitant about the author or my expectations at least will be lower. The next historical fiction on my radar for 2022 is The Tobacco Wives by Adele Myers. I really love the cover design of this one. It's set in 1946 North Carolina following a young seamstress and the behind the scenes and dangerous truths of the tobacco industry in the American South during that time period. That's all I really know and that's kind of all I need to know. I think the perspective is really interesting. Don't know anything about the tobacco industry or really read too much about the American South, particularly in 1946. So that's why this one caught my eye. The next one is also set in the South and that is The Saints of Swallow Hill by Donna Everhart. This one is also set in the American South in North Carolina during the Great Depression and it follows the turpentine industry, which I'm really unfamiliar with what that even is. I think it's like a very toxic substance. And this book just follows a woman working in a turpentine camp. And I think she's trying to survive and make her way in the world. Not entirely sure, but the setting and time period intrigues me. This one has a very cheesy cover, but the description intrigued me. And that is A School for German Brides by Amy K. Runyon. And this follows a group of women who go to bride school in Germany, which is to become perfect proper German wives to Nazi officers. And I'm sure that that was not a great experience. And so this perspective of what it meant to be a German woman 
during this time of war sounds very interesting to me and the final book on this anticipated release list is daughters of a dead empire by carolyn tara o'neill this one is probably the most out of my comfort zone because although it's historical fiction it also has a fantasy retelling aspect to it which isn't always my jam but the reason why it made it on this list is because it is set in russia during 1918 which is when the romanov family was executed and the bolsheviks came to power and the whole kind of communist regime of russia began i'm curious why it's categorized as a fantasy retelling because the description also makes it sound like it's this like historical thriller survival story of a woman trying to survive during that tumultuous period in russia but either way i'm intrigued so those are the 10 books that have caught my eye that are being released and published in the first few months of 2022 i will probably make more videos like this once i hear about other books being released throughout the year but please let me know down below if i'm missing any if you have some anticipated releases that are on your radar that sound like maybe would be up my alley because i feel like researching online is a bit difficult to try to find them all but anyways thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video i'll see you guys in another video soon bye